This beauty is the Grimsmo Norseman, and uh, it is on loan to me from a generous patron, Mr. VC256. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is quite an experience having this in hand. Uh, this is on its way uh, to Mr. VC, uh, but first it made a, a pit stop before coming here, and it's here now. And I will not take any more time with this beauty, and I will send it along to my good buddy, Mr. VC. Uh, by the way, sir, thank you for your support, and thank you for entrusting this gorgeous knife to me. Uh, this is brand new, and I am just stunned by it, everything about it. This action is just otherworldly. It does feel like a a magnet is sucking it in there. Um, it feels incredible in hand. It's so beautifully done. It's contoured and it's got this knurling that's been knocked way down. It is masterfully done and um, beautiful to behold. Uh, let's take a look inside this really cool box. This is how it comes and it comes um, with this specialized foam insert, fits everything perfectly, some nano oil uh, tool there. And then like underneath there's some information. I don't wanna mess that up, nice, beautiful sticker. Let's see, this is uh, number 6256. So he's, they, uh, John Grimsmo and brother have made 6,256 of this. Uh, I need, I, I would, I've reached out to these guys. I would love to have John Grimsmo on the show to talk and or Eric Grimsmo onto the show to talk about this. Um, you know that I hate the, the modern use of the expression journey unless you're like uh, on a ship or going a considerable distance. I find it corny. But uh, the Grimsmo brothers really have documented or at one point documented the journey of becoming knife makers and the birth of this and uh, its maturation to a certain level um, uh, years ago. And uh, it's a very interesting story. And it's really cool to actually have this knife in hand after kind of knowing about it for so long and never having experienced it. Beautiful, beautiful recurve. Tanto blade. I think this blade shape is uh, polarizing, though I've never heard anyone say they don't like this knife, actually. Uh, but I would imagine it's polarizing. Recurves aren't for everyone. Tantos aren't for everyone. Uh, but maybe it's safe to say that Grimsmo Norsemans are for just about everyone. There's nothing to wipe off. I don't know why I'm doing that. Nervous habit, perhaps. This is really, really crazy sharp. Um, I think I will demonstrate... Mr. VC, hope you don't mind, but uh, this is not Kevlar lined paper, so there's nothing to worry about. No steel threads in this paper. Yeah, really, really sharp on that forward tip and incredibly sharp on this edge. This is hollow ground here and flat ground here, but you can see the stepped uh, terracing of the CNC um, there. So cool. And that anodization on the thumb stud and on the um, standoffs is really beautiful. It's like a rose gold. It is beautiful. Let me see. Yeah, gold. Let's see. Finish and color is gold. Hardware bronze, they're calling it. Uh, bearings, ceramic bearings, uh, 6AL, vor uh, 6AL 4V titanium cross-hatched acid etched and tumbled blade. Cryogenically treated RLW34, uh, a steel which I have no experience with uh, until now. But, uh, you know, all I did was cut paper. Cool. There's the serial number there. There's the steel designation. Beautiful pocket clip. Nicely sculpted, relatively deep in the pocket, but you've got a little bit to hold on to. I like the way it misses the pocket there. I'm going to close this just in case. I like the way it misses the pocket there, so you're not going to have that hang up. Um, I always thought the the 
shape of the cutout was really cool on the um, lock bar. You can see there's a lock bar insert and an over travel stop tang thing. Tab, I should say, not tang. Um, their pivot has their logo on it so beautifully. This jimping feels great. It's like a massage to the thumb, and, and but very purposeful uh, and grippy, but in no way uh, abrasive or uncomfortable. Really nice. Mm, mm, mm. So they have really dialed this knife in. This is amazing. Just... I mean, that didn't even close all the way. And I just touched the flipper tab and it, you know, went in. Uh, so I have nothing to compare this to. And I, I don't, there's no need to compare anything to this. It, this is just a beautiful work of knife craftsmanship. And I am so, you know, excited and honored to have this in the, in my, uh, my little man cave here. And I, I just want to get it out of my possession because uh, it's not something I can get attached to because it's not mine. And it's definitely not something I'm going to carry, though I would love to. This is 100% in my wheelhouse in terms of size. <coughs> Excuse me. The, what that? That's got to be four, nearly four inch blade. Yeah, just about, you know, closing in on four inches there. Uh, what is that? Instead of saying closing in on four inches, let me get a little more. Yeah, it's like three and three quarters inches. Beautiful blade. Man, what a great knife. Very stylish, beautiful, artful uh, expression of, of a knife. You know, this 500,000 year old tool or whatever, however old it is. I think, I think we were using them before we were um, homo sapiens, apparently. Um, so this is, this is a uh, recent iteration of the form and man alive. Uh, it's cool to be alive right now. Look at this knife. Beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. Thanks for watching uh, and just drooling with me over this uh, Grimsmo Norseman. Thank you, Mr. VC256. You are the man. I do appreciate it. Take care. Enjoy this knife and use it in good health, sir.